Hey everyone, this is Dylan with BJJ slash J Athletic Training. Today on our data-driven nutrition section, we're going to be talking about lion's mane, or Heresium urinaceus. Heresium urinaceus, lion's mane, monkey head mushroom, yamabushitake, or the bearded tooth fungus is regarded as medicinal mushroom. The fungus is claimed to have many neurological effects, i.e. protect against dementia, relieve symptoms of depression, protect the GI tract against ulcers, and support cognitive and immune system function. Companies have even started marketing it as a coffee additive to get your mind in the zone and ready for work. If the company claims are true, this is great. But remember, these companies are trying to sell you something, so we need to form our own educated opinion prior to any sort of purchase. Overall, there are almost 200 papers on HE, and within the last 10 years, about 150. When you remove the papers not immediately relating to the biomedical importance of HE, we get about 110 papers. After looking through this data, here's what I found. HE has been shown to have a number of positive effects on the nervous system in healthy and diseased states. One group found HE supplementation in healthy mice to improve recognition memory. In general, HE seems to promote neuronal survival and acts in a neurogenic manner. In rats with ischemia reperfusion brain injuries, HE seemed to protect against ischemic injury to neurons. Recently discovered cytothane diterpenes within HE have displayed neurotrophic properties. HE also contains many unique sugars or polysaccharides, such as Hep C or HEPC, which has been found to have antioxidant properties. New HE cytothane diterpenoids and sugars are still being discovered and continue to show neurotrophic effects consistent with others isolated from this mushroom. Two compounds in HE, arinosine A and B, display a number of neuroprotective effects in mouse models with Alzheimer's disease. In addition, the sugars of HE have also shown many neuroprotective effects. In a rat model of dementia, ethanol extract of HE was able to enhance learning and memory. Further, the compound 3-hydroxyhericinone is suspected to be an important naturally occurring anti-Alzheimer's agent. In a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease, treatment with HE prevented amyloid beta-induced cognitive deficits in learning and memory. In general, HE does seem to interfere with the disease state of Alzheimer's and dementia in a positive manner. Interestingly, HE may play a role in the perception of pain. One group found HE extract to act on certain receptors in Involved in the pain perception response in neuronal cell culture. They followed up with mouse models of pain and found pain behaviors in mice to decrease with HE supplementation. In relation to the injury process, one group from Malaysia has been working to show the benefits HE can have on the peripheral nervous system. Their work in rats suggests aqueous extracts of HE can promote peripheral nerve regeneration following nerve crush injury. This research avenue has taken the known neurotrophic effects of HE and investigated them in more physiologically relevant injury models. I find this very interesting and promising and would like to see more people investigate these effects as many could benefit from them. Although the research is limited, HE at 60 mg per kilogram per day for four weeks has been found to reduce anxiety and depression symptoms in mice. A second group showed irisin A to be at least one of the antidepressive agents in HE. In a mouse model of depression, the authors found irisin A at 100, 200, and 400 mg per kilogram per day for two weeks to reduce depressive behaviors caused by restraint stress. HE has many effects on the immune system, displaying both pro- and anti-inflammatory actions. It is for this reason HE is considered to be immunomodulatory. Many of the immune responses come from the unique sugars within HE. One such polysaccharide, HEPS or HEPS, was found to enhance immune cell action in a pro-inflammatory manner and enhances T and B lymphocyte proliferation. A general polysaccharide extract of HE when modified, hydroxyethylated, seems to have modulatory effects on certain types of macrophages, showing an increase in pro-inflammatory macrophage activation. Recently, it has been put forward that these polysaccharides interact with the gut mucosa to exert their immunomodulatory effects on the body. These authors found HE sugars to enhance cell-mediated and humoral immunity, macrophage and natural killer cell activity, SIGA secretion, and activate the MAPK and AKT signaling pathways in intestinal cells. If we focus more on specific functions HE plays on the GI tract, we find that a polysaccharide HEPC can improve the gastrointestinal health of mice with colitis by downregulating inflammatory signaling and preventing the misregulation of the gut microbiota. Additionally, HE sugars have been shown to promote ulcer healing and gastroprotective activities in rats via an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory mechanism. HE extracts have been found to have a number of anti-inflammatory bowel disease effects. 
At least one way it helps reduce IBD symptoms is by changing the gut microbiome in a beneficial way. Another HE sugar, EP1, has the ability to inhibit H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide induced oxidative stress in gastric mucosa cells. EP1 also seems to have anti-gastric ulcer properties and seems to prevent the progression of gastric cancer cell proliferation. Nonspecific extracts of HE have shown many anti-cancer effects in the GI tract and liver. The arenosine A component of HE also displays many anti-cancer effects in the gut, especially the colon. Given the effects HE can have on the GI tract and inflammation, it makes sense to investigate the effects it can have on metabolism. One group gave fermented HE juice to diabetic rats, which helped correct the diabetic phenotype by improving insulin, glucose, and hemoglobin levels, and decreasing inflammatory diabetes-associated signaling. In the same model of diabetes mellitus, researchers have found HE polysaccharides, HIPS1 and 2, to decrease blood glucose levels and normalize many diabetic-associated enzyme levels in mice. They also found HIPS1 and 2 to increase antioxidant status and protect the liver, pancreas, and kidney against diabetes-associated damage. In a high-fat diet mouse model of obesity, both hot water and ethanolic extracts of HE were found to reduce body weight, fat gain, and total triacylglyceride levels. Ethanolic extracts of HE help prevent the weight gain associated with menopause as it decreases fat tissue, cholesterol, and leptin in overreactomized mice. The compounds within the ethanolic extract of HE, hericinone C, D, F, and G, have been shown to have lipase inhibiting effects and therefore prevent complete lipid absorption in the body. As a side note, HE in combination with other herbal supplements was able to reduce inflammation and act as a chondroprotective agent both in vitro and in vivo in rabbits. It should be noted that this is corporation research, so it should be taken with a grain of salt. But if the company's research is true, HE may aid in joint health as well. One group conducted a toxicology study by supplementing rats with 250, 500, or 1,000 milligrams per kilogram body weight for 90 days and found no adverse effects within that range. When assessing the toxic ranges of HE component arenosine A, no adverse side effects were found in rats supplemented with dosages as high as 3 grams per kilogram body weight for 28 days. Another group investigated dosage toxicity of arenosine A enriched HE during pregnancy and saw no adverse effects in the mother or offspring of the 66 rats that they tested with dosages up to 2.6 milligrams per kilogram body weight. Overall, HE seems to be relatively non-toxic and well tolerated at higher dosages and during pregnancy by both the mother and the baby. These are the references I've used and image URLs. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Dylan with BJJ slash J Athletic Training. I hope you've learned a little bit more about Hericium urinaceus, aka Lion's Mane.